All right, guys, so we're going to look at the reassembly of the uh, Tyrant T9. Tyrant 9. Um, anyway, what you need to do is you need to get uh, the aluminum baffles. Um, there is one stainless steel baffle which can be identified by a hole in the bottom that none of the others have. So none of the others have that hole. It's got a hole. That's stainless steel. So that goes in the first part. So what you want to do is you want to build a stack of four. So these things kind of uh, go in there and get uh, retained. So four together. And they kind of fit together and you can't twist them. So one, two, well, one, two, three, and then four. So four fit together like that where you can't twist them and then also with the holes lined up. One, two, three, four, okay? Now four on top of that with the holes facing the opposite way. So now that hole right there is going to go the opposite way of these holes. One, two, three, and the stainless steel is four. All right, so I'm just going to check these. Okay, I got one, two, three, four. Oop, this one's facing the wrong way. That's why you check it. I've got one, two, three, four. And then I've got uh, one, two, three, four facing the opposite way. I've got my stainless steel on the top. Um, Next, let me see. It says advanced armament here. Okay, so if I were to put this down and have the gun in my hand, I would be able to read advanced armament and the gun would be on this side, on the left side. So that's where this gizmo is going to go, on the left side. Um, and the stainless steel baffle, of course, is first because it's the hardest so it takes the exhaust from the shot first so basically you want to line it up so that is readable like this so this would go in here and then after you do that and you want to put the bottom end cap on and you got to screw it with a very stupid proprietary tool, which you shouldn't have to have. The Octane has a better idea, which uses the opposite side of this to screw it in and out, which makes so much more sense. You don't need an extra tool that you can lose or need and not have. Um, so I'm screwing this in tight. Come on now. All right. There we go. Screw that in. Now, now the uh, ASP device. So they call it, you've got this part that screws onto the, the gun barrel. Spring goes on top of that. And you've got uh, this little device. This goes on top. And then you can kind of push it in so the spring, see that goes in there. Um, next, you can take this and screw it in, 
drop it in the top and then screw that in. And if it doesn't screw in tight, that means you got you probably got some grit or something that you can uh, clean out a little bit better on there. See, you want to start screwing in all the way. Very good. I don't know why. And after that's screwed in, then you can screw in this. And that's basically how you reassemble it. Uh, I'm going to go back. I don't know, I don't think I should have this gap right here. I need to screw it in, figure out why it's not screwing in all the way. But that'll at least, uh, that'll at least help you a little bit. Um, I found no help, so this is better than nothing.